Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. Today we are taking a look at from the Titans Return line. This is Skull Smasher and Grax. Skull Smasher is a name replacement for the original G1 Headmaster, Skull Cruncher. Um, it has an alligator beast mode with an opening canopy that the Titan Master can sit in. Unfortunately, the opening canopy is made of a soft, soft rubber plastic that I have discovered uh, can warp in um, heat and in certain temperatures. As with all deluxe Titans Return figures, um, there's a part to the figure that can form a Titan Master uh, vehicle. In this case, it is the tail of uh, Skull Smasher. Um, it combines with the robot's weapon, and it's a little embankment here. It can be held by a larger robot or plugged into a base. Grax, surprisingly, is not a rename, but is the original Headmaster name, which I am very happy they were able to keep. I did not have Grax originally, but this is what the figure looks like respectable amount of paint. You have that dark green, and really it's not black, but I would say a very dark gunmetal gray. The transformation is the same for all Titan Masters, as it just folds over, and there you have it. The uh, Takara version does feature a different face that's closer to the original animation model. Skull Smasher's transformation is fun, but unfortunately plagued by several issues which we'll get to in robot mode. First, you want to already remove the tail. Go ahead, flip the legs out from behind here. There are two uh, points where they want to click into the knees on my figure. That only really happens on the stage left leg. You then want to go ahead and basically the alligator, crocodile legs, what have you, will peg into the side there. And you're already starting to see some of the problems with the hips. Go ahead, flip out the robot feet, just like so. And then we'll come up to the top here. Go ahead, flip the alligator head back. That needs to be attached once out of packaging. It just snaps onto a ball joint. Bring the arms and shoulders down and around. Going back into uh, alligator mode, it's very simple. They do. Um, there are guiding tabs and what have you. Make sure everything's lined up. You want the elbows facing forward. Flip out the hands from the inside of the forearm. There is a lot of swiveling there, but that's mostly for alligator mode. And once that's done, if you can get the figure to stand, go ahead and add the head, just like so. And here we have Skull Smasher in robot mode. Skull Smasher unfortunately suffers from a severe design flaw. Everything above the waist is tight and secure, whereas from the waist down, it's a floppy mess. The hips and uh, swivel here right below the hips is incredibly loose, and it is that is universal along the first wave of these figures. With that, Skull Smasher could be one of the best figures in the Titans Return line and the best of Wave 1, but because of this flaw, I cannot recommend buying it until a later revision wave where hopefully this uh, flaw has been corrected. The figure can't stand on its own, barely. I have heard stories of it coming broken out of package, or even worse, falling over on a shelf and the head breaking off. This figure is flawed, it is damaged, it should not have been released, and according to some reports, Hasbro did know because they did try to fix it before release. Um, th this figure is available at all online and brick and mortar retailers, but again, do not purchase this until this flaw has been fixed. As you can also see, the tail can be stored as a shield or on the back because there are other ports but you really can't use them because the it makes the figure off balance and makes it that much harder to stand do i sound upset do i sound disappointed that's because i am this is your old pal chuck for skull smasher we will see you next time